SMT Nation, welcome back to the channel. We've got a breaking news story from Verizon. Uh, they've got a new plan. It's called the Welcome Unlimited Plan. Uh, and in quotes, you're going to see advertisements saying, best price ever. The mission here seems like it's going to be intended for customers that want to keep their phone and get a really basic unlimited plan for the budget-minded, the budget-sensitive. Really look at it as a BYOD option, a la what uh, AT&T did with their you know, BYOD plan. Uh, anyways, the pricing and the structure of it is probably the most paramount thing. You can get access on the Verizon Wireless Network at $30 per line per month on a four-line account. Actually, you can even make it cheaper if you do five plus lines, so five or more. Uh, it's going to be $25 per line per month. And those numbers do not include taxes and fees. You're going to be paying those additionally. Uh, customers can switch and get $240 per line to switch. Uh, so you're going to get up to four lines. It's going to be about $960 to switch, which I think uh, what they're doing is they're doing Visa gift cards. So it'll be $240 per line on each of those lines. Up to 12 lines can actually go on the account. So that five plus lines rate applies on those levels. $10 auto pay and paperless discount is available. So you can build that into the planning structure. It does not include ultra wideband access. Current customers that actually move down from the get more, do more, play more, or any of the first version legacy plans with previous ultra wideband access that you're going to be losing it here. Uh, you're also going to lose access to perks and features that were associated with those plans, loyalty promos and discounts, the Disney bundle, you'll have to start paying for those things. So those are things to consider as you remove those value adds, your price is dropping, but you're losing those little perks. All right, single line is 65 bucks. The two line is 55 bucks per line. And then three line is $40 per line. So when you look at the pricing, five plus lines at 125 bucks, bucks plus tax and fees, of course, it depends where you are. In my case, like say, for example, in my area in Ohio, uh, the pricing, you know, you're talking about about 8% in taxes, and then they've got their regulatory fees and such. The bill, you know, you're probably looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of 140 to 145 bucks. AT&T offers a very comparable plan pricing in their structure. So does T-Mobile with Essentials. All right. There is a um, $5 per month discount on the Fios bundle if you do Fios and also the home discount for Home 2.0. I'm um, assuming that's the 5G home internet or LT home internet. So there's a small loyalty discount that goes with that. You're talking 480p video resolution playback. Uh, you are getting the Verizon cloud storage if you want it. International rates are all the same as all their other plans and travel pass and all that. You're only getting network access to the 5G nationwide and 4G LT access. There is no ultra wideband. That means no C band, no N77. That means no millimeter wave either. Uh, so, you know, watches, phones, it's all good on these plans, uh, but that's the structure. I'm not sure about the date of availability. I will be doing a follow up video to see if there is more details. Again, these details are from internal tools. They are all but official until Verizon announces it, which could be any time. So be on the lookout for it. But I want to get you guys on the know, let you know what's up and coming. I'm excited about this offer in one small way, uh, and that's because it brings the pricing down to get on the Verizon network a little bit. It makes it more competitive. We know Verizon hasn't had a great quarter. We can tell they had a poor quarter in Q1. This may be in response to that. Uh, obviously, people have seen increased fees. Uh, economic adjustment fees, plans going up on legacy plans. These may be ways for Verizon to convince customers to stay on by dropping the pricing of their entry plans and making it a little bit more consumer friendly during economic hardship and economic times that are very challenging. Uh, so you may look at this as a as a good option. You may look at this as a good move. I think it is in some ways for Verizon. It makes it more aligned to the entry level plans we see from, say, for example, AT&T, and T-Mobile. But there are caveats here and there are restrictions. And for people that are on Verizon's current premium plans, are you considering switching and moving down? You're losing a lot here, right? Or if you're a T-Mobile customer or an AT&T customer who are there because of pricing and you used to have Verizon, is this enough to entice you to come back? All right. Or if you're a customer, longtime customer of T-Mobile or AT&T, are you now considering switching because of the pricing? As it looks like the 
competition, the the price gap is starting to close a little bit with plans like this. I mean, even Verizon with their starter unlimited just added five gigs of hotspot uh, and tethering to their plan with no change to the pricing. We're starting to see Verizon maybe moving a little bit better, maybe looking to stop the bleeding here after a horrible Q1 and possibly another bad Q2. And uh, here it is, July 11th. This has been in the works probably for several weeks, and it's just a matter of time. I think things are pretty crappy at Verizon, and they're looking to stop the bleeding. Comment down below on any of my commentary. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more, and turn on that bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter handle, as well as my Patreon page if you want to support us and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. And all business inquiries can go to the Gmail in the description. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.